Today I'm doing some work on a shooting case where a suspect gun was picked up. I'm gonna determine how far away that gun was when somebody was shot and try and further their investigation now we can get to the truth. handgun short barrel firearms, not all of the gunpowder has a chance to burn before it exits the barrel. So what you're seeing is little specks here it is partially burned uh, gunpowder. There's also some residues on here that aren't visible to the naked eye as well. So we have chemical methods that we use to visualize this as well. Even through dark, bloody clothing containing a gunshot, we can pick up these types of residues and it helps us determine the distance the shot was fired. By comparing these patterns, we can tell if it's within a meter or so, which is often the story if there's a struggle involved, indicating that the shooter and the victim were very close. Hopefully that information can help the investigators. There we go. The pattern of lead residue I see there, it's giving me a pattern to look at at a known distance of 15 centimeters. So when I compare this pattern to my evidence pattern, I'll know whether or not it's greater than or less than 15 centimeters. And I'll continue on my testing at different distances. Overall, I think we're using the criminals' guns against them. Every time they do a shooting, they're gonna leave some evidence behind, and we're gonna take that evidence, and we're gonna make the most of it.